Officer Quinana and Officer Williams, both of the Law Enforcement Advancement Program, or LEAP, were taken from their families and from their communities and from our city way too soon. These were young men at their primes, both in their 30s, both with young families, both with bright careers in law enforcement ahead of them. Two young men, one taken in the senseless violence of a taxi strike that served no purpose, and the other taken in the senseless crossfire of a gang warfare that has terrorized communities in our city for decades. There was no reason for their killings, but that does not mean that they died in vain. Because both Officer Quinana and Officer Williams served on the front line of what has become not only a war against gangsters or rogues in the taxi industry, but a battle for an even larger and much more important goal. And that is the preservation of the rule of law in our country. Zamikaya Napoleon Quinana was born on the 31st of December 1989 at Mangam village in the small town of Mkanduli in the Eastern Cape. He joined City of Cape Town Leap in August 2022 as a learner law enforcement officer and he died in line of duty while he was serving and protecting the lives of the citizens and visitors of the city of Cape Town. The thin blue line the mayor spoke of earlier between order and chaos that we saw in action last week. We also saw how that line was tested, especially on Monday. Our enforcement staff supported by SAPs stood strong in the face of danger. They were the ones who willingly placed themselves in harm's way to protect us, to ensure our safety, and to uphold the principle of justice, equality, before the law. Since the city became a new city, there are 35 names which have been added there of operational staff who have died in the line of duty. We should not be adding more than a name one name in many years to that war. This last fortnight, we added two names. We grieve with their loved ones, and while it's cold comfort, we will continue to seek out those who perpetrated these cowardly acts. I'm grateful that we were able to make an arrest for the murder of Tafik Williams, and my hope is that we will soon see a similar arrest for the murderer of Zamikaya. We have spent a lot of resources and energy since that through our Safety and Security Investigations Unit on making sure that those who harm our staff are brought to book. And there is not a murder on that wall, not a victim on that wall whose murder as murderer has not been brought to justice. And we intend to do the same for these staff members. We cannot fail them. <laughs> 